the garden bandit is back and you see that he's ruined my garden once again i had this beautiful garden with potatoes up top and in the bottom i had a nice row of cannabis and it's ruined now you can see that there's pineapples tomatoes let's say coconuts it's all over the place and so we have to fix this we need the top row to be potatoes and the bottom to be cannabis so we're going to use regex in powershell to achieve that now regex is a pattern matching engine it has its own syntax which is very complex and a lot of people find that it's a gift and a curse so let's take a look at how we're going to match this i have this replace pattern here and we're saying if we match anything in this pattern we want to replace it with potatoes let's dig into the pattern a little bit more i like to discover my regex by going to regex101.com they're not paying me for this but i wish they would so you can see that we can see our pattern matching live by using this site if i take away the rest of this you'll see that it's only matching a certain portion here so what is happening in this string basically we have set up four capture groups and you can identify the capture groups here because they are separated by the parentheses so this here is a capture group this here is a capture group this here is a capture group and so on and those four capture groups are identifying the four rogue plants in our garden and I'm separating these capture groups by pipelines it's because it's kind of like an or we're saying if you find this pattern or you find this pattern or you find this capture group then I want you to do a replacement on it if I remove it you'll see that some of the matches don't work anymore because we don't have four watermelons directly touching four avocados so we have to put that back and now we have our four distinct capture groups here so what is happening inside the capture groups this is a, another pattern here we're using the literal string for the rogue pistachio right here and you see that after we have these squiggly brackets with the number four inside and it even tells you repeat the previous token exactly four times so in this capture group we want to find four pistachios in a row and that's what we have here you can see that we're looking for group number one and it, it is all throughout this document now over here we have to do something a little bit different because the dollar sign is a part of the regex syntax so we need to escape the dollar sign to say look for this literal dollar sign character and that's what we're doing over here as well we have four capture groups and if the pattern if a pattern is identified with any of these capture groups then we want to highlight them to replace them so now let's go back into the powershell code where we have our four distinct capture groups and if any of them are discovered throughout the document we're going to replace them with potatoes so we're going to run the code here to see if our pattern matching works to replace all the rogue plants in the garden we'll just run that open the garden up and you'll see success we've gotten rid of all the rogue elements but now we have a new problem we have potatoes in the cannabis because we we wanted to match everything to the potatoes so now we have to go and clean the potatoes from the cannabis which is where we have a second pattern over here and this one is a little different so let's take a look at it on the regex you'll see here we have three capture groups i i made it a little bit more complex than it needs to be just to show off the the way that the capture grouping works so you'll see we have three distinct capture groups but because we don't have the pipeline between them it's looking for one continuous match with three distinct distinct elements in that match so the first match is four cannabis plants then it has to be separated by a space and so to do the space we just 
escaped it and it becomes the literal space character. Then it has to be followed by four potatoes. And this entire thing here is the match with three distinct elements inside. So let's go back to the pattern here. And you'll see that we don't have the cannabis characters in the replacement. Instead, what we're doing is we're using the index of the capture group in the replacement. So this dollar sign one refers to whatever is captured inside the first capture group. If we use dollar sign two, it would refer to the space and dollar sign three would refer to the potatoes. So what we're saying is we want to take that entire capture group and replace it with the correct representation, which would be two cannabis rows. So let's take this code here and run it and go back to our garden. And now you can see that all of the potatoes have been removed from the cannabis and we have our nice row of potatoes, our nice row of cannabis. And that is how you can use regular expressions to clean your garden or replace characters in a text file. And that's it. Thanks for watching.